Hey, 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 we're back at it, yo. Another great Saturday Night Live. Hopefully, everyone's week has gone good. If not, Skull, mm -hmm. Emily, and Vibes is going to turn around. It's going to be a good weekend. Welcome in, everyone. Um, for those that have not watched, read the comments or even read the, the title, you missed out. We have got a guest up tonight. Local in Australia. Yeah. Greetings from Korea. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, it, it, it's a blessing to have her come up here. I, I was a little bit surprised when I asked her if she, she'll be a guest. She's like, oh, sure. Like, wow, that was, that was too easy. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before, so I'll jump on the opportunity when I can. <laughs> awesome. So in other words, it seems like you're kind of adventurous. Yes. Well, I try to be anyway <laughs> in the fish yeah. world. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, uh, and this young lady, uh, she's on Instagram as Gem Aquatics. Yeah, mainly just using Instagram and TikTok at the moment. Fingers crossed we get some YouTube content going soon. Uh, hey, for those that don't know, she has the voice, she has a talent, and she has the knowledge. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I enjoy that Australian accent. It's kind of cool. I'm not gonna See, lie. that's the other thing. I don't really notice that we have an accent, but I can see you guys pick up on it. Uh huh. Wait, wait, you're, you're listening to this guy. Yeah, I definitely notice an accent in you guys, but yeah, I guess I hear this all the time, so I don't notice anything. Right. So, how, okay, as, as Americans have a totally different accent I mean, across the whole country, what, what accent do you enjoy the most? Probably going to be pretty biased here, but probably the Kiwi. <laughs> I love a good New Zealand accent. I don't know. It's just something about it. Even just Islanders in general. Just something about the accent. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. I like it. Um, you know what? I'm going to give it a little more time, and then we'll welcome everybody into the live stream. Um, actually, are you able to comment in the chat, Emily? Yeah. That way my moderators can grab your info and can – uh, put links up where you want so everybody can go ahead and follow you subscribe to you that way uh, you know share the love i already subscribed uh, does that count i subscribe thank nice. you Woo! She, she, she's on, on a roll to a thousand there you go thank you so much we're slowly getting there yeah um tonight i don't know what's going to all happen but hey we will definitely talk about the differences between the two countries. Um, yeah. And for those that don't know, uh, this young lady is does uh, tank maintenance. So she has more knowledge than Vibes does even. <laughs> Vibes is like a beginner in the hobby. So he, he, he's going to learn some stuff. For some reason, it's not letting me comment. So I'm not too sure why. I'll keep trying to oh, no. see if it lets me change that at all. Because if you're exactly. commenting on StreamYard, it takes forever for it to come up. If you're on yeah. YouTube, it will come up. Yeah, I just posted it and says this comment has failed to post a vibe aquatics. So we'll see what happens there. Huh. To Excuse us for a little bit, y'all. We're going to take core difficulties. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I, I just saw. Oh, you, you, you know, I just grabbing two vibes aquatics. Whoops. <laughs> you're good. No, um, I, I went and put up a uh, um, subscriber only live stream. Those that had subscribed more than 20 minutes to Vibes Aquatics to chat. Cool. Maybe that's what's going on there. You're good. Um, the, the reason I put it up, there's too many trolls out there. Cool. And Shady Gray, yes, I have been on Katie's Cichlids. That's probably where you've seen me before. I've done a couple of videos with her. Yeah. Th that was. We're talking back to stage, y'all. Anyway, and, and that's when I found out that this young lady that was on with Katie Sippers, this was her. They like, do what? <laughs> Small <Smoke> world. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> She's the one that takes care of Katie's stuff to make her look good, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I do take maintenance and pet sitting as my full time job. I've worked in the industry for quite a while, but now I've branched out into my own thing. So yeah, I do take maintenance and pet sitting. Okay. Hey y'all, I just switched it to, to five minute subscribers. That way, uh, some of y'all 
Now, hey, trolls, don't use it for your talent because you, you will use it. There's too many trolls out there that will mess up a live stream. Yep. Okay. I have my hands over here, so I'm not going to screw it up. <laughs> Thank you, Skull. Thank you, Skull. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, not good memories. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that there. Yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and welcome everybody. I want to go over to uh, fishfam.link. You've heard of that, Emily? Yes, I have heard of that one. Okay. Anyway, there's if you're a sponsor of the channel, of the not channel, the website, you can look at the live stream participants of the live stream. Yeah, I can see everything coming through here, but for some reason I just can't comment on it. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and read down through the list who's all here. Refresh. We got Caprice, Father Aquatics, which is Alex, great, great moderator. Hogan Hill Design, welcome. Melvin, I'm just legacy. Jeff Bellham, Kalish, I miss her. Curl works. In the sea aquatics. And that's aquascaping. Shady Grady and Travis Richards. Welcome everyone. Uh, Travis Richards. Travis Richards. Name. He he thinks he's close to me geographically, so I hope so. I love to meet people close to me. Travis. Hey, you know what? I know I don't, don't, don't do this on a live stream, but I'm glad to Find who you are. You know what I mean? Hey, you, you look pretty good, guy. Good. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Welcome in, Travis. Uh, do we have a link to Emily's channel? Um, I like to say that he was restarting his router, and then he'll be back with all the links. Okay. All right. Travis Richards, you got to give me a little more than look me up. <laughs> Because I'm on, I'm right here. So <laughs> send me so, an email. Send me an email, skullaquatics at gmail.com. We'll hook up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'll to comment three times now, but it's not letting me. But anyway, my links to my channels will be on my Instagram page. If not, it's just Gem Aquatics, G E double M Aquatics, and you'll be able to find me on there. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll go to moderate some time. But um, Emily, how long have you been in the hobby? Of, of so I've been, been in the hobby my whole life. Obviously, growing up, we had fish tanks. But obviously, back in the day, this was early 2000s, so there wasn't mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge out there. So not a, not a lot of them lasted very long. So I kind of got defeated. And my, obviously, being a kid, wasn't too interested in it. I thought they were just fish in a bowl, quite boring. And obviously, because they died so fast, I didn't really get into it. But then as we got older, when I moved in with my partner, we ended up getting a goldfish in just a little 20 litre tank, started out in the hobby, did some research, realized obviously they need larger than a 20 litre tank. So I upgraded him, had a spare tank. So we were like, may as well fill this with something. Got some angels and it was just a downhill spiral from there. Now 18 tanks later and five years into the hobby. And yeah, here we are. <laughs> woo, woo. So uh, you say you've been in a whole life. So is, is there someone that influenced you to get into the hobby? Not necessarily the hobby. So I've always been very animal based growing up. My auntie and uncle both own veterinary clinics. So I've always been inside like the medical side of more like dry livestock animals. So always thought that I would be a vet by this point in my life, but went out to uni and realized just how demanding veterinary science actually is. So I kind of just dropped back and got into the aquarium hobby and yeah, haven't really looked back since I entered. It was kind of just meant to be a part-time thing just until I got some more funding to go back to university, but yeah, onto the dark side and I don't think I'll ever go back now. <laughs> I thought someone put the links up there. Awesome. Nice. Thanks, moderators. I, I, I got the best moderators on YouTube, for those that wondered. Um, so what's your favorite fish as of now? Fish as of now, betters are always going to be my favorite, better than my babies. I kind of always go towards the misjudged fish, so goldfish betters just because they're mm -hmm. always kept incorrectly and people underestimate them because they definitely got huge personalities and definitely require the proper care, just like any fish. Um, so yeah, betters are definitely my babies, but any sort of fish, mm -hmm. I absolutely love. <laughs> actually, fish in if, I, if I had to guess what your fish was, it would, it would have been betters. Yeah, I especially... They're definitely my babies. Because I've been watching your content on Instagram, and so it's, it's a lot of betters. Yeah, it's definitely better orientated. Mm -hmm. 
at first, I, I, it kind of reminded me of um, a, a better day. Yeah, it used to be just again when I was working part time in an aquarium shop. Obviously, I had that as my full time job, and someone was paying me. I didn't have to run my own business. So, in the afternoons, I'd come home and make content and actually be able to post it. Whereas now, I'm trying to balance everything running my own business plus trying to make the content. So, that has slowed down a little bit, but we'll get there one day. So, uh, <clears throat> since you did got Katie local, you could go, kind of, hey, Katie, you mind? Doing some filming for me? <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to meet up for a collab. I actually messaged her last night, so that is in the plans. Woo! This is going to be good. Yes. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, Funk, what's up? By the way, Funk, you had a good live stream, live stream earlier today. It, it, was actually, it was actually Funk's birthday within the last few days. Yeah. Not every day, but within the last few days. Right, right. So happy belated birthday. Yeah. Hey, MSC later. I did see red lasers show up. Welcome. Um I don't like missing anyone. Lumpy dog, welcome. If I missed you, I'm sorry. That's that's not my plan. Um Okay, uh, uh Alex said try commenting again. Yeah, right. I'm doing that. Now. Okay, and let's see if that that should go through now. You would think. I don't know why it's not, but it's still not. I'll take a photo and send it to you on your page so you can see what I'm looking at. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Technical difficulties. There you go. I just got sent you a photo so you know what I'm looking at on my side. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see this. What? Whoops, I uh, should be right back, yo. There you go. Vibes hasn't paid his streaming bill this month. <laughs> hey, if I didn't pay it, uh, we won't be using this platform. I'm just saying. Um, yeah, I see. I think she hit the wrong button. She should be right back, y'all. Um. <laughs> there she is. Oh, yeah. sorry. I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> hey, yo, it's official, y'all. She is the live streamer. She hit the right buttons. I think we're back. <laughs> oh, that's private chat. Sorry, I'll try this one. No, you're good. You're good. No, it's still not working. I don't know. <laughs> that's weird. I thought I figured it out because it kicked me out, but no, it still doesn't want to work. Anyway, uh, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out some, maybe some other time. That's okay. Yeah, we'll sort it out uh, for the next one. Yeah. We we got plenty of things to talk about. Um, so what's I know since you all have leaders over there instead of gallons, what's yeah. the average size aquarium like from the local fish store? Local fish stores in like holding sizes or what people buy? What, what people buy or what, what's available? You can literally get any tank size available. The main ones in shops are anywhere from like five liters, which I really don't like because you can't put anything in there, but five liters all the way up to about the 200 liter mark. Um, and then anything out of that, you kind of got to go custom made. So you got a fair variety over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also good because there are quite a few custom aquarium shops. So if you do have anything that you need to specially fit inside certain measurements, you can get it made. Right. And uh, what radius do you do maintenance on tanks? So I live in Queensland. I'm centered in Caboolture, so it's kind of like the middle of Queensland, um, but I do all the way from the Sunshine Coast to North Brisbane, so about an hour range to and from where I'm from. I was going to say, because, uh, I mean, I do go on vacation occasionally. I mean, I could get some of my tanks. It, it could be maintained while I'm gone. Yeah. But, you can definitely I mean, get them 
so they kind of look after themselves while you're away. But for the bigger trips, it's definitely better to get someone to come in and make sure everything's right. operating properly, especially in these situations like this house that I'm looking after here. He's had a couple of problems with his fish, so it's kind of good that I'm here because I can identify the problems and treat them for him so he doesn't come back to any dead fish by the time he's back. So do you all have um, like medicines that you can you all use for Fish. Yes, so that's another really tricky thing over here. With our laws, you have to, um, I don't know what the word is, but you have to state what all your ingredients are over here. So if it doesn't state on the bottle exactly what's in it, we can't get it. So a lot of the medications like your Metroplex and all that sort of thing, we literally can't get that here. You can try and get it imported, but it's most likely going to get stopped at customs and you're not going to get it. So majority of our stuff, you actually have to go through either a vet and get a prescription or a doctor and get a prescription, which is costly and it takes a lot of time. Mm -hmm. You guys definitely have a better range of meds than we do over here. Okay. Hey, welcome to Dirty Jane 13. Woo! Actually, for those who don't know, I got to hang out with her today. Um, from 2.30 to what was 6.30, uh, she's on the board of a local fish club. Anyways, and she does have content, y'all, on YouTube. Dirty Jane 13. Go, go check her out. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back at it. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever done a, a, um, surgery on a fish? I personally haven't done like proper surgery. I've done surgery on land stock animals because, as I'll say, I mean, I've got vet clinics, so I've had the privilege of spaying my dog and all that sort of thing. But yeah, fish wise, not too much. It's mainly just like salt baths and that sort mm -hmm. of thing, like medication treatments, no actual surgeries. But I actually haven't run into the issue of having to do a surgery on a fish either. Like nothing's been caught on their throats or they haven't got tumors or anything like that. So the opportunity hasn't arisen yet. <laughs> but you do have, have the the wisdom though, eh? Yes, I do. So yeah, if something did arise, I probably could do it. But yeah, it just hasn't presented itself yet, thankfully. <laughs> well, that, that's so cool. Uh, see, that, that's the kind of content that we want to see and hear about. That, that's <laughs> when it comes up, we'll definitely be posting some. <laughs> Nice. Uh, I see in the chat people are talking about cottage cheese. It, how do you oh, feel about cottage cheese? <laughs> I don't mind cottage cheese. I know a couple of people that are very iffy about it, but I actually don't mind it. <laughs> I knew I got the right person up there, the right guest. No, see, uh, Vibes is known for cottage cheese for breakfast, cottage cheese for lunch, cottage cheese for supper, and in between that too. I don't actually remember the last time I've had cottage cheese, but I have had it before and it's not bad. <laughs> actually, I think in high school we used to do little experiments with the beakers where you'd get the milk and you'd have to put over the Bunsen burner and you'd separate it into the cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, done that before. Right. Hey, y'all, this young lady's awesome. She's all into the right stuff. It's basically a science experiment that you're eating by. Yeah. No, hey, it's he just ruined it now. <laughs> oh, it's an everything thing. Technically, everything that we eat, you got to process it some way in some sort of experiment. True, true. <laughs> so, uh, the aquariums, are they mainly glass aquariums or acrylic? Or? Yeah, so we mainly have glass over here. You definitely can get acrylic, but pretty much everything on the shop floor is glass. Sorry, uh, uh there was some echo. That's okay. That might be my side. Hold on. Yeah, it's just you. We're all good. I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Now, I think what was... That, but why was echoing, though, on my side? That's, that's what's puzzling to me. Technological issues, I guess. Um, so, what the main substrates that's available? Probably the same that we have here for your career? Yeah the same you probably have a lot larger scale than we do because as we were saying in the little backstage before you guys have like all your suppliers and wholesalers over there so you can get it a lot easier than it is to export over here and obviously big bags of substrate it's quite expensive to try and freight them over to here um but yeah you basically can get all the same thing get your argonite for your africans um cichlid sands normal sands and that substrates gravels colored gravels pretty much anything that you can think of mm -hmm. uh do you do any local collecting in the wild no, so I haven't had the opportunity to yet. I'm 
a little bit iffy on the stance of that, just with my personal ethics. I don't know how comfortable I am taking things from the wild, especially because in our ecosystems around here, invasive fish are a really big problem. So our native species are struggling as is. Mm-hmm. So and I just personally, I don't like taking them because I know that they're already, already struggling and I don't want to add to that problem. Um, but invasives sure. go out and get invasive species all for that. But yeah, the natives, I'm a little bit iffy about just personally. <laughs> Live, you got echo because your ears are working at different times. Uh, hey, hey, Funk, you got any wisdom? How do I, I adjust my one ear that way it matches the other? Oh, don't, don't, don't ask that. Don't ask that guy. Don't ask him for no advice. Come on. <laughs> okay, hey, Shady Grady. Yeah, Emily, it looks like you have a few cool, cool looking tanks behind you. Can it explain, please? Yes, so I'm currently house sitting at the moment. So these aren't my tanks. I was hoping that the lights would be on. It looks like they're slowly coming on. They're probably going to be on in a couple of hours. But behind me here is a big eight foot African cichlid tank. Um, and then over here, we've got a little South American cichlid tank. It's got ghost knives, Congo tetras, angels, some rams. I think there's some Bolivians and also a little German blue in there. And then over on this wall is another South American tank. So that's got some discus oh, and some Australian natives in here as well. I wish the lights were on so I could actually show you because there's some river, red river rainbows and also some Bosmani rainbows. Bosmanis are actually from Papua New Guinea. So that isn't an Australian native in there. Um, but yeah, and then there is another one, little one over here with some tetras in it. But yeah, these aren't my tanks, but there are a few going on here. <laughs> so in other words, you live in the dream. You got your tanks, these tanks, those tanks, yeah. Yeah, my tanks at home are a little bit crazy. As I was saying, I've got 17 tanks at the moment. I've got a breeding rack of eight. So that's just kind of just basic kind of random stuff going on in there. Mm-hmm. But then I've got mystery snail breeding tank, ramsorn breeding snail tank. Um, I do a couple of like food cultures. So I've got black worms, vinegar eels, brine shrimp. And then my main display tanks would be my discus display my big six by two by two angelfish display. Um, I got a turtle as well, and then my better tanks as well. So <laughs> got a few of them going at home, but they all it. There's a couple of photos of them on my pages of my personal tanks. So how many of your uh, pets on, have names? All of them? This is the thing. When I first started, I named every single one of my fish, but whenever I choose favorites or whenever I name them, for some reason, something always happens to them. So I have stopped. <laughs> I've had to stop. So all the older stuff from like two years ago prior that's still alive, they all have names, but any of the new stuff, I've just stopped naming them because, yeah, I was just sick of something happening to them. And ever since I've stopped naming them and picking favorites, it's been all good. I even went out to my angel tank the other morning with my partner and I've got a stunning big koi angelfish in there. And I said Mm -hmm. to him, I was like, I hate that angelfish. I really don't. I wish that angelfish would die. I hate it just because you've got to talk opposites. If you say, I love that angelfish, I don't want him to die. I'd walk in the next day and he'd be dead for some reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So yep. y'all have the same trouble as we do over here. Yeah. yeah Maybe you a fish, be... it's going to die. <laughs> yeah. But I quite love our discus tank. I don't know how everyone else would feel about it, but our discus is like a politician tank. So all of their names are politic names. We've got Donald Trump, um, Biden, Putin, <laughs> Hillary, Jacinta. So yeah, that tank's quite interesting. Whenever I tell people about that, I have a little bit of a giggle. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> so uh who's running right now <laughs> um at the moment i think it's actually kim jong-un yep he's running yeah. the tank he's yeah. the king of it <laughs> which yeah. makes sense <laughs> yeah that's cool i like that <laughs> um so do you feed any live foods like worms yeah, so I absolutely love the live foods. I definitely think they got more nutritional value and also give them more stimulation. I'm very much for enrichment for your fish because they're the same as any animal. They should be getting some enrichment in their lives so they're not just bored sitting in a tank. So, yeah, I love feeding live black worms and also the brine shrimp. With live feeder fish, I do have the turtle, but, of course, with anything live that you feed, you should always quarantine them first. So just in the process of quarantining and breeding my own fish because, yeah, I don't want to introduce any pests or anything to my own animals. Um, but, yeah. Definitely for the live food. So how do you culture them? Or do you culture your own? 
Yeah, so with my black worms, we're quite lucky here. We've got a big black worm supplier here and they deliver them to your door. So I just start with a little culture. They deliver it to my door and then I put it in my tank and they're really easy to culture those guys. I just chuck in some pellets or they even eat decaying food. So I call them my garbage bin. Any plant trimmings or anything that I have, chuck them in that tank and they clean it up for me. And they're really easy to propagate. You literally just have to break them apart or run your finger through them to break them apart and they'll regenerate off those little broken parts that you've broken off and create more. So black worms are really easy to culture. Just got to keep them cool, which is hard in Queensland because my tanks sit around 30 in summer without a heater and that's 30 degrees Celsius. Don't know what that would be Fahrenheit, um, but it does get quite warm here. <laughs> I should have kept my... Uh... Little conversion. Yeah, turned <laughs> turn on. Uh, sorry, y'all. 70-something, might be 78, 79 Fahrenheit. Uh, 91.4. Oh, 91, way off. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Warm. That's pretty hot. Yeah, so in summer I turn all my heaters off and that's just the ambient room temperature here in Queensland. It's ridiculously hot. So yeah, that's the only thing you do have to worry about. Sometimes in summer I do have to put them in the fridge just to cool them down. Okay, um, I keep in most of my tanks don't have heaters in them and they stay around 27. Yeah, That's around. good. That's perfect. So Hey, for those who wonder, that's 27 Celsius. That wasn't Fahrenheit, by the way. <laughs> I, I made a converter for her. I made it easy. <laughs> yeah, I should really have a converter up here. Yeah. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, so, yeah. It, yeah, I was doing a What Will Smush Eat series on my TikTok for a while there, but again, I've run out of stories. So I've got all the footage there. It's just I physically can't upload anything and actually create any videos until I sort the storage out. So hopefully this What Will Smush Eat series will be back up soon. Mm -hmm. Welcome in, Jeff Bellham. Um, is, is, is there something in the hobby that you could change? What would it be? Education. So And the laws that are around it. I really don't like, especially working in the pet shops, it's kind of why I got out of it and decided to start my own just so I can kind of control who I sell to because, unfortunately, there's no legislation about what you can sell and where. Like, there were so many fish where I would talk to the customers and I knew they were going into the wrong tanks and I knew that they would be dead within 24 hours mm -hmm. and it's nothing that you can do about it. You just have to sell it to them. And for me, even though they're fish, they're still animals, they're still living lives, they deserve the proper tank and proper requirements. So that was really hard for me. So that would be my one thing, just people being properly educated, realizing that it's not just water in a tank, you have to cycle it, there's biology, chemistry, medication, but there's a whole world behind it. It's not just fill up a tank, put a fish in it and off you go. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's just my thing. education and people realizing what actually goes into it. Nice. So Emily, what kind of parrot is that on your head on Instagram and what is its name? So that is one of the birds that I'm looking after at the moment. He's in the back room now. His name's Grinch. I actually have no idea what kind of bird he is. I am not a bird person. I have a friend that's a bird person, so she could probably tell you that. But fortunately, not too sure what he is. He's very loud. I know that. <laughs> yeah. But he's not a parrot. I do know that much. But, yeah, I don't know what sort of bird he is. Mm -hmm. Cool. So what country would you want to go visit if you could? If I could visit any country, it would probably be like Indonesia, Philippines, just because I'm a better lady. So I'd go straight over there just to better mm -hmm. breeders, their facilities and see them in the wild because the actual wild better species are absolutely stunning. So to be able to see them in their natural habitats, that is my mm -hmm. dream. Um, but everything else wise, probably America, just because of all your predator fish and just the massive setups and the amount of exotic fish that you can get. It would be a really cool experience just to come see mm -hmm. what you guys have. But yeah, cool. definitely betters first <laughs> so is there a certain type of wild betters that you really enjoy or really want to get or i really love the macromosa they're just really mm -hmm. pretty um but any of the wilds they're just stunning they're i don't know i think this is just me being biased because the wilder you get the more like plain boring colors you get but in the wild species you can actually keep them in semi community style tanks if you do them right so that is the other cool thing about wild species compared to um your better splendors which is what we have in captivity mm -hmm. um so definitely have a little bit more room to play around and i also love my tannins and blackwater tanks which is what you can do with your native species as well right so. right um have you watched um uh, what's her name uh, simply better simply better 
a Taylor. There's also, there's also one called The Better Girl, I think, and I follow her quite a bit on Instagram, and she does a lot of the wild species type of better. You know what? I want to look, look, look it up. Hold on. That way I, yeah. I know who you're talking about. I'll find her page as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's from Canada, Leah. Yeah, yeah, she's in Canada. She's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I think she's actually got a project going at the moment, which is pretty cool. Yeah. You better go. Uh, that's simply better. She's on YouTube. Let's see. Um, go ahead and pull her up. Oh, yeah, I don't think I've seen her before. Uh, she's heard. Trying to think. Where's she at here in America, at Skull? She in Utah? Maybe, maybe. Utah or Nevada or somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, she's all into betters. And, I love it. Uh, uh, she, she's been trying to breed the, the uh, Appy Appy better. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I have to go check that. will yeah. be my tip after this. <laughs> Yee! Hey, uh, you, you have a fellow... Australian here. Mark Stolson. Oh, G'day. How are we? Oh, I love the profile picture is up. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And, and Mark is awesome. Okay. Uh, there was a question a little bit back. There we go. Sorry. Emily, what's the most difficult pet that you've had to look after? Oh, that's a tough one. In the beginning, probably the discus, just because I personally didn't want to do discus for another three or four years until I really knew what I was doing. I had the tank set up, cycled, it was established for maybe a year plus, and I was really adamant about that. But my partner was like, I want discus, I'm getting discus. So I said, all right, you get the discus, that's your tank, I'm not touching it. And we're now two years into it and we haven't had any issues with it really. We do water changes, same as any of the other tanks. So I thought they were going to be the most difficult, but they're probably just as easy as the others. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. The fish in general are definitely more difficult. Just like everyone here knows, you get one thing that goes wrong in water and you can wipe out your whole tank, like temperature spike, ammonia spike. It's very easy to wipe out a tank. So my like I also have huskies um, and also blue tongue lizards and a couple of other reptiles. So they're definitely a lot easier in the grand scheme of things of animals. So I'd say the fish out of everything that I keep would be the hardest just because they're the more demanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Funk, I, I see a comment. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't know how to spell it. That's all right. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, Funk, uh, should we have a, 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 a school lesson after this on, 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 on spelling? I mean, we, we can definitely do it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good, Funk. You're good. No, uh, Appy Appy would be API, which Jeff Pelham they put in the comments. Yeah, no, you're good, Funk. No, the first time I heard about it, yeah, I had to do some research. And I, what? I never heard of this kind of better. So, anyhow, kind of cool. So, you got any big goals for, 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 the, for the year? This year, it's mainly just trying to build my business up and get that sorted just because I did only start this last year. So at the moment, I'm trying to balance accounting, books, clients. So it's just mainly just trying to get my life organized. But ideally, I would like to get the YouTube channel going and hopefully do some tours or some travels and film what I'm doing. That's the ultimate goal, travel around the world and just film what I'm actually doing and all the amazing animals that I get to interact with. So, so well, eventually, yeah. So where it sounds, you, you, you need to... Uh hold some companies that want you to come to America and do talks. Yes, definitely. Yeah. If anyone on here wants me to come over, let me know. I'd be more than happy to. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Hey, y'all, this, this young lady has more knowledge than, than most of us. So. Okay. Moving on. So what's one thing that you would tell a beginner getting into the hobby? Do your research before you jump into anything. Don't do what a lot of us do. And like I said in the beginning, we got a goldfish in a 20 litre tank and then did the research after and realized that he needed an upgrade. Definitely research anything that you're getting beforehand before you get it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready to have a question, Joe. She's good. She's answering right on. Uh, do you have any local conventions? 
in your area? Yeah, so we've got a couple coming up at the moment. We've got one this weekend, which is a reptile expo. It's not fish, but in May in Brisbane, we've got Frag Rama coming up. So it's a big frag expo and where yeah. all your local um, companies and also just local wholesalers will be the trading. So that's something that I'm really looking forward to because generally that's down in Sydney or Melbourne. So that's another mm -hmm. state below us. So we generally can't get to there, but we got one in Brisbane this year. So looking forward to that. Yee! So I'm assuming that Kay is going to be there filming you, eh? I hope so. She's not really into the re side of things, so I don't know whether it'll interest her. Um, but we did also have a live fish auction last night, and she did go to that, and I think she's made a video about I that. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so unfortunately, I found out about that night before last, so I already had plans. I didn't get to go to that, but next one. Aww. Yeah. I had my Facebook hacked early November, so I've lost access to my Facebook page and all the communities that I was on before then, so I don't really get notified of anything anymore. <laughs> We do have Aquamania coming up in June in, in, Char in Charlotte. Emily will be a good meet and greet candidate. I agree, Travis, 100%. This famous country creator from Australia. Yeah. What's Aquamania? Tell me more about that. I don't know. I, I, I'll be honest with you. That's what I'm hearing about it. So I'm going to say Charlotte, I'm assuming that's North Carolina. Yeah. Because earlier he said he's from North Carolina. So. I'd love to come over to Aquashella. I've been seeing lots of things about that. So hopefully next year that may be on the cards to come over to Aquashella. Yeah, do it, do it. It's refreshing to come to Dallas. Yeah, just the scale that you guys do everything at as well is just incredible. Because over here, like the aquarium hobby is big, but it's definitely not as big as it is over there. So like just your expeditions as well, like the amount of effort and time that goes into the decor and everything that goes around mm -hmm. it is really incredible. Whereas here, you kind of just have your little stall and whatever the booth creators want to put in there. So it's not, like, it's impressive, but you guys are definitely levels above. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Aqua Shella, it, 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 it's, it's in a real experience in itself. Yeah, it's it looks like it. It looks incredible. It's an adventure. Yeah. Now, yeah, can you imagine it. having this guy below us, this guy's skull, with us, with the camera behind us, filming us, doing, yeah. doing our stuff? It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. something on the car. And when it got big, when it started getting really busy, then I was holding it up as high as I could. Like, where did vibes go? He's in the crowd uh -huh. somewhere. Uh -huh. That's the thing with us short people. We get lost too easy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, I see you got with us. Welcome. Don't don't I'm even read. Don't read shadies what? either. Do not read shadies. Right. Yeah, I saw that. Alchemina is a big fish show. It's probably my personal favorite. I like the <laughs> Aquacellas, but there seems to be more livestock at Alchemania. Okay. Yeah. Alchemina, it, it must be a smaller event. Shady, she's not single, so chill out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. My input is full of that a lot, but no, unfortunately not single. I do have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, chill out, bro. Yeah, jail, jail. Uh, so do you watch empty oh. fish tanks? Yes, I do. That was actually when I first started in the industry. He was the main person that I watched on YouTube that got me into the aquascaping side of things. So I have him to thank for my crazy aquascaping. <laughs> yeah, uh, Travis said he met MD and fish shop Matt at Aquashella this past year. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I met but both of them a couple of times. Yeah. The, the, the yeah okay. Oh, Shady wants to know if the owner of the house is single so he can become the fish. Uh. <laughs> yes, no. Unfortunately, the owner of the house is married and has children. <laughs> oh, sorry, Shady, baby. Good luck. Shady, you're just going to Shady, shady, you're, shady, you just gotta come over here and help me clean algae. That's, that's it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, just come over here and help me change water. You'll be all right. Um, uh, so did you see a before as well about 
males together and no, never, ever, ever add males together. I have never done it. I am very big on proper education and proper tank mates. And yeah, male betters should not go together. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so what's one thing about you that people are surprised to know about you? Probably how insane I am with animals. <laughs> They look at me and just think that I'm a normal person, but I am very much animal crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they go, oh, it's a normal person that keeps a fish tank. And then I go, yeah, I keep a fish tank, but there's 17 of them and they kind of just lose their mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. The extent that I go to with everything. <laughs> right. I guess I haven't told you, but I do got 25 tents in here. So. Yeah. And I currently live with my partner and the in-laws, so I've actually been banned from any more tanks. If it was my own house, I wouldn't have like a mini fish shop in my house. So. It, it'd, be a, it, it'd be an aquarium. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I've taken up all their PowerPoints in the house, so they physically can't plug anything in. If they want to vacuum, they have to unplug one of my tanks to vacuum, so they have put a ban on me putting anything else in the house at the moment. <laughs> it sounds like you need to uh, uh, buy a property Build a nice uh, building there, stuck with aquariums. Yeah, the dream is to be off grid one day, so we will definitely be buying a property. It's just housing crisis over here is bloody ridiculous. So, was hoping to be in our own place this year, but by the looks of it, it's going to be quite a couple of years still, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, my normal. What is normal? <laughs> exactly, not normal around here. <laughs> It, for those out on panel, those in the chat, now if we're here, we ain't normal. You're in the wrong spot. I mean, you're a normal fish keeper, but not normal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what, you know? Is it time? I think it's that time. Um, hold on, yo. Oh. <clears throat> I'm having a little de 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 difficulties. Mark, Mark's wanting to know where is here, Emily. Because he's in Australia, too. Oh. Yeah, so I am in Queensland, but where am I at the moment? I'm North Lakes. I'm usually in Caboolture, but at the moment I'm happening in North Lakes. So South Brisbane, North Brisbane. Yeah, North Brisbane. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? I need a little, I need a little break. Uh, skull. You, you gonna take over? I I have a little break. I don't know. You know what happens. Uh, just don't, just don't hit any buttons. I ain't, I ain't good. That's all. How about that? And hey, um, when we come back, when I when I come back, we'll do uh, we'll, we'll change up a little bit. So, uh, those in the chat, you already know what it is. So, so, so stop thinking about it. Um. And we don't want to be too long about it, so yeah. Okay. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm off camera. Scott, you got this. <laughs> okay. All right. Handing the torch over to you. <laughs> Handing the torch over to the guy that screws it up every time. <laughs> anyway, what do you have in your tanks in your house? In my house, so I've got the six by two by two angelfish display. So that's got seven male angels in it at the moment. I've got two more Bolivian butterflies out in quarantine, so they'll be in there soon. Um, ghost knife, stir by Corys, silver tip tetras, and I think that's all in that one for the moment. And then we've got the discus display that's got five discus in there. They're all um, heavily planted aquascapes as well. Um, so the discus tank, they've got albino what are they albino black emperor tetris no black neon sorry they are albino black neons in there um and some more sort of quarries in there he's got it's a really expensive tank he's got the discus the albino fish he's got gold laser quarries black venezuelan quarries and orange venezuelan quarries so the most expensive quarries that you can get over here <laughs> um and then i've got my turtle tank and he's just by himself because he eats anything else and then my better and then the breeding tanks out the back which has just got assorted breeding stock in there and anything special you're breeding nothing really special at the moment it's just live culture so it's got like worms, um, and the eels and the brine shrimp but future projects definitely 
in the works. Won't reveal anything just yet, but there's some things going up. <laughs> okay. And I know there's some kind of fish that you really want in the future. Yes. So I'm definitely into all my predator fish. So arowanas, lungfish, um, stingrays in particular, yeah. love the rays. Wow. But yeah, you've got to find the space to actually put them because obviously big wow. tanks are anything else so when i get my own place it's probably going to be like a big basement pond or something like that and we'll do a big predator pond nice yeah oh yeah, hey vibes me. welcome to your All stream right. oh, i'm back y'all uh, hopefully i didn't mess anything up no we're talking about stingrays and arowanas and the future yeah no really cool yeah, lungfish are really awesome, and they are actually native here as well, so they don't need any special permits for it. But I found out the other day, oh, that's another person I listen to, Boudou Yu from Australia. He's one of the other boys from down in Melbourne, and he's got a couple of lungfish. And I found out that we have to microchip our lungfish here. I didn't know that you could microchip a fish, so that was really interesting for me to that's learn. Cool. Hmm. Oh. Um. Miss, Mr. Uh, Fathom Aquatics has a lungfish that's like two foot right now. I did see that they've got one over there. That is really cool. But yeah, they're beautiful yeah. little lungfish. You know what? Peapuff is used to be really expensive over here. Peapuff is used to be $1,000 each They've because we couldn't import them. Yeah, we couldn't import them over here. There was an import ban, so it was only what was here and what was being bred. But they, about a year ago now, they allowed another breeding pair to be imported. And since then, a lot of people have started breeding them. They've dropped down to about $300 each now. So it's still, still pricey for a little bit to use up. Definitely a lot cheaper than what they were. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody in the chat wants a shout out. This young man, Garcia Aquatics. Mr. Hey, Berto. Since you, since, you, since you did a super chat, you know what? Let's do it. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. Yeah. And by the way, Emily, Garcia, that's the guy you heard in, in talking. That that was Garcia, by the way. Yeah. He, he went and did a little video for me and I uploaded it. So yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guy. That's that's my little brother. Yeah. Uh, I'm making you're sure too, I don't miss any comments. You're too young to be my brother. You gotta be like a son or something. <laughs> Uh, no, it'd be more like, yeah, it'd be more like a son, like uh, one that's doing backwards yet, the pacifier. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right? I'm just reading Travis's comment now about the arowanas. And yeah, I've already given up on the nerves because with my turtle, any sort of noise that he makes, his tank is pretty fully enclosed, but he used to have an egg crate that sat on top. If you saw my story the other day, he managed to push the egg crate into the water as a ramp and he climbed up and he was literally perched on the edge of the glass looking over. So we nearly lost the turtle to a four foot drop the other day. So any sort of noise that I hear out there, I wake up multiple times throughout the night and go and check on him. So nerves mm -hmm. are already gone. So the arowana would just be the same. I'm already used to it. Right. So, Emily, do you have any challenges as a fish keeper in Australia? It's probably really just the medication side of things, trying to get medications when you need to, just because, as I was saying before, you either need to go through a vet and get a prescription or a doctor and get a prescription. So in an emergency situation, like if it's the middle of the night, you can't just order anything in. You have to go through that whole process to try and get your hands on something. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much the only real difficulty that we have over here. There's sucky things, like obviously we can't get these really cool fish that you can get over here, but that's not really a difficulty. That's just an unfortunate thing about being here. Mm -hmm. Amy Scapes, welcome. Uh, you know what? I said I was going to go and do it. Let's do it. And, and for those that don't know, Emily has no idea what's going to happen. Uh, she's in the dock, but she didn't say she, she's, she's adventurous. So this is going to be good. Change yeah. the background a little bit. Uh, now... You know, it's not going to be really deep, y'all. It's going to be kind of shallow this evening. And I think this might be the new vibe check. Now, the vibe check is basically, uh, it's going to be very simple. Get your favorites. This is not fish related, really. This is just kind of get, get, break the ice, get to know who you are. 
Hey, if the guests want to ask, want to ask us any questions, they're more than welcome to. So, anyways, let's go for it, y'all. Bye, Jeff. Favorite ice cream? Danny. <laughs> I like it. I'm a weirdo with that one. Either chalk mint, which it's either love or hate one, or probably like salted caramel. Ooh. Mm. That's that, that adventurous. Hmm. Not favorite, good uh, favorite pie. Ooh, steak, bacon, and cheese. Easy. <laughs> steak, bacon, and cheese pie? Yeah. Uh, All right. That's 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 I'm a fan mm-hmm. right now. I'm already a fan. Uh-huh. I've never had you it. You guys have flavor there. No. It's literally like the Australian icon, steak, bacon, and cheese. You walk into a bakery, steak, bacon, and cheese will be on every single menu, and it's the best seller. Oh, my God. I'm going to look into this. This is, this is so good. <laughs> I thought that was just a normal thing. Yeah, no, that's one of the biggest pies over here in Australia, steak, bacon, and cheese. No, it's definitely not on a pie. Hey, good night, I'll take it. Here. I'll take it. Every day. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now I'm getting hungry again. I just had pizza earlier. Wow. <laughs> uh, favorite pizza toppings. Mm, love a good meat lovers. There you Ooh. go. Mm-hmm. Barbecue sauce base, though. Has to be a barbecue sauce base. Not Woo! tomato. Get, yep. get the tomato out of here. All the meat with so, the barbecue sauce on it. Mm-hmm. Heck yeah. So does pineapple belong in pizza? No. I believe it does. I'm one of those weirdos. I think it does. Even on well, burgers, I put pineapple piece on my burger. Yeah. <laughs> Negative. Hey, this young lady is hitting all the right notes. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's not having second thoughts. He's like, oh, who have I got into this with? <laughs> So, favorite drink, uh, non non alcoholic. I'm very much just a water girl. I'm kind of boring in that aspect. <laughs> Not really uh, into something like that. Do you add lemon to your water? If I'm feeling fancy, but that just is a lot of extra effort that I don't have in between the tanks. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, how how much tank water have you tasted? Oh, yeah, I've lost count. I reckon my <laughs> I was actually at a client's house the other day and she's a big germaphobe and she saw me sucking into the hose and she nearly had a heart attack. So I was like, this is probably, I don't know, half of my body is probably fish water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, favorite restaurant? Oh, I don't have a favorite one in particular, but Asian cuisine is like my favorite cuisine. So any sort of Asian restaurant is my go-to. And what kind of a meal would that be? Or uh, yeah, food. They, they, Just the, the plate you order. Literally anything Asian. I love Asian because you can do a banquet style, get to try a little bit of everything. Mm-hmm. So that's udons, ramens, karaji, literally anything. <laughs> I'm a big girl, so my that's dad's a chef. Cool. Yeah, my dad's a chef by trade, so I've always grown up with really nice food and all different cultures and those kind of experiences. So, yeah, I'm a big foodie as well. Mm-hmm. So, uh, okay. um, favorite pair of boots? Whoa. That's tough. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. Okay. One this one. Hard in six months. Hmm. <laughs> Which is an experience that I've just had. I usually buy Kmart shoes, which is, I don't know if you guys have talked about over there, but Kmart, I think, is kind of like your target, I think. But, yeah, so Kmart is our real cheap shop. And, yeah, I always just go there, buy a cheapy pair. They usually last me about a year. I finally invested in some good work boots the other month. They lasted six months, and I was literally at a client's house the other day, took a step, and they exploded all over our floor. So okay. that's the last time buying an expensive pair of shoes. I'm just sticking to the cheapies for now. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Um, plane, train, or car? Oh, depends on what it's for. Because Australia is so big, sometimes it can take a lot of fuel to try and get to places. So in some aspects, train, um, but also cars generally my primary way just because i got so much equipment. I generally use the car a lot. 
Right. Cool. Yeah, we should have Kmart's hair. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kmart over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they went out of business. There you go. Mm -hmm. There's still one about an hour for me. Slides okay. of blue light. I think that was the same with Home Depot over here. Like, I've never heard of it, but I have heard some Australians talking about Home Depot. Like, that was a totally new thing to me. They don't exist here. I think Kmart is our version of that. Mm -hmm. So, favorite breakfast um, food? I'm another weird one in this aspect. I only really eat dinner just because my life is so hectic. I'm just constantly doing stuff, so I don't really do breakfast or lunch. So, yeah, I'm mainly a dinner girl. But if I do, probably a slice of toast with some avocado or something, not too much effort. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Um, do you put any jalapenos on it? Oh, yes. I'm a big spicy girl. I love my jalapenos. I think she would fit right in Texas where it sounds. She said you all, all the meat. I constantly have a bottle of Tabasco going or a jar of jalapenos or the book. I'm thinking <laughs> you can move right in the Midwest where all the Mexican-American uh -huh. cuisine, everything is going on. Definitely fit in there. That's I mean, cool. ba bacon wrapped jalapenos with a little smokies is. Ooh, that sounds amazing. Mm hmm. Um, now, I, I actually prefer going with, with the cream cheese filled. Yeah, you fill them with cream the cheese and you put the yeah. little smokies in them too. Ooh, but not, I haven't tried that yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think we have yeah. something similar. They call it jalapeno poppers. They're jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese, but then you fry them. They're not wrapped in bacon, but the bacon sounds much better. No, you, you do them on the grill. You got to do them on the grill and then wrap mm -hmm. them in bacon. That sounds much better than what we have over here. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. We have steak bacon and cheese pies. You have that. Oh, <laughs> there she is with lemon in her face. <laughs> <laughs> I do got a shout out. I told you know, earlier, if, if you're local, I'm going to shout you out. You know what? You're local to me. Joseph, you live in Texas. Welcome. You love everything spicy, too. Welcome. Yeah. All right. Um, favorite flower? Oh, I'm into my orchids at the moment, so probably orchids. Uh, do you have any aquariums with the minute? Not currently. I'm propagating them all outside with my bronze to currently put in the six foot. I'm just trying to figure out a way to actually attach them. So I've got some big drift pieces coming out the top of it, but there's not too much room to play around with. But I'm making a video on that soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> That's cool. That's, it looks really good. Uh, talking about orchids, the fish store is out today. Um, the one, one of the workers, uh, he's propagating orchids and some other plants he picked up from Lowe's. The goal is to have the whole fish store basically plants everywhere is the goal. That's my dream. I absolutely love bringing nature inside. If I could put everything outside, I would obviously temperature control and everything, so I bring it inside with me, <laughs> much to my family's disgust. <laughs> Sausage and bean pie in the UK and this and things. Never heard of that before. That sounds like an interesting combination. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure about that, but you never know. It, it, I mean, I, I'll definitely try it. Yeah, I'll Can't give it a try. It. So, do you eat seafood? I'm not a huge seafood person. I don't like really, like, fishy-tasting things, so I love smoked salmon and, like, prawns and a good cocktail sauce. Absolutely love scallops, love scallops. Um, but, yeah, anything fishier than that, not a huge fan of. Mm -hmm. My partner, on the other hand, he's Kiwi, so he's all seafood. <laughs> right, right. So you say you like salmon. Would would you, if you could, would you keep it in, in a aquarium? If I could, I probably would. Again, just not don't have the space or size of things. I don't even know if we can get salmon over here. I think you'd have to have like a um, aquacultural permit to be farming them. I don't know if you'd be able to keep them as just like a hobby mm -hmm. thing. Right. Cool. So, have you eaten the fish in front of your fish? So I don't think I have. Probably the discus because they're right next to the kitchen table, so they've probably seen a couple of things, but anything else I don't think so. Uh, did you feel – how did you feel when you eat, eat, eat the fish? Did, did you feel kind of guilty? <laughs> Not really because – I don't know. I know it's terrible to say, but in my mind, I know they're all still fish, but one 
a hobby and a pet sort of thing, whereas the others for like food purposes. So it's two different lines in my brain. I know it's bad mm-hmm. to say. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. One's oh. for food, one's for pets. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what is your favorite meal to make at the house? Whoa, that's another really hard one because my dad's a chef by trade. I really just enjoy cooking in general and trying out new recipes. But like my number one go to is probably a good spag bowl. I've been making that. I think that was the first dish that I learned how to make. So it's just kind of my comfort thing. I always go back to a good spag bowl. And what's that? Spaghetti bowl, mate. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that is good. Oh. Spag bowl, Lydia. <laughs> that, that, this, this is awesome. This is the first time I've heard of that. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you abbreviate everything over here. <laughs> uh, it, no, keep it up. Don't don't change anything. I like it. <laughs> so, uh, do y'all do a lot of like um, grilling or barbecue or smoking? Yeah, it's probably not as big as over there. You guys definitely have a big barbecue smoking culture, but it's definitely around. Just yeah, definitely not on the scale that you guys do. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> there's a place called Toowoomba, which is about two hours from here, and once a year they have a big um, smoking mm-hmm. like barbecue festival, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's all that sort of thing. They do a big smoking and barbecue of all your meats. Oh, I need special fun. Go ahead, go. I even barbecue in the winter because my patio is covered, so it can be snow everywhere. My barbecue's still going. See, that's so strange to me to hear that you guys don't really go outside in winter because obviously all year round it's sunny and hot. I think in winter it gets maybe down to 23 degrees Celsius here, so not wow. that. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get cold here at all. At nighttime you may be lucky to drop down into 18 degrees Celsius. Um, so, yeah, snow to me just kind of blows my mind that you actually get seasons. Oh, no. and- <laughs> I've been out with coat, hat, gloves, everything, barbecue. Yeah. Yeah, we can pretty much walk around in singlets and shorts all year round. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just jealous now. This ain't right. <laughs> well, none of us want to see you in shorts, five. So, <laughs> <laughs> right? I probably pick you out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Travis said, "Oh, I ain't fish in front of my fish, especially the discus." I mean, like, keep faking. You'll sit after watching this. You're next. <laughs> Oh my God, the discus after water changes. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Go ahead. T- tell us all about it. <laughs> so, as I said before, the discus tank is my partner's tank because yeah, I wanted to make sure everything was really established. I said to him, if you want to do it, you do it. I am not touching it. I wasn't meant to touch it at all. We've had it for two years and I think he's touched it maybe once. I do all the maintenance, I feed them, I quarantine <laughs> them. So, it ended up being my tank. But because he actually bought everything and it is so expensive, that tank, I always freak out that something's going to go wrong. And every time you do a water change, sometimes they're absolutely fine. They act like nothing's happened. And then other times they all freeze, lay upside down, act like they're dead. And I just sit in front of the tank for an hour having a heart attack thinking that I've killed his tank. Uh-huh. And that happens to me once every second water change. So yeah. <laughs> the lights have finally come on behind me in this tank as well. But, yeah, yeah no, so if there's some water changes, oh, my God, the heart attacks that you get. <laughs> hey bro welcome hd canteen this is my this is my younger brother by the way for those that don't know welcome in uh okay yeah like i said if you got questions for emily go ahead and ask away um we don't want to cut anyone off but okay back to the vibe check what what creator do you really want to see that, that you're not you haven't met yet oh there's a lot of them i'd probably really enjoy to meet md just because his actors are so cool just to be able to mm-hmm. see and he's so lucky with the water that he has that's another issue that we have here which i actually didn't think about before our water's really hard so it's good key kh but we have pretty much no gh so you've got to remineralize everything which is quite hard or you've got to use ro water invest a lot of money and time making ro water and then use that so, yeah, he's just very, very lucky and fortunate that he literally doesn't have to dose CO2, add minerals to his tank. So MD I'd love to meet just to have a chat to. Um, who else is there? I can't think of anyone off the top of my head, but I know there are quite a few that I'd love to come over and meet. Mm-hmm. What is tricky or hard to get fish in Australia? Do you want, you want, but you haven't been able to get 
Oh, you're putting me on the spot now. I haven't had time to think about any of this. <laughs> uh, that's been nice. This, this young lady is, works hard, so be, be easy on her. Um, oh, I don't know. There's always stuff. Oh, snakeheads, probably. I really love the snakeheads. We aren't able to get those guys. Mm, They're stunning. Me too. Um, what else is there? Just say biker and you'll shut Alex up. Yeah. Well, we do have bikers here. Um, my friend, he actually breeds the Senegals and the Tigers. So. <laughs> oh, uh, Emily, uh, I think you just opened a can of worms. Let's, let's try <laughs> to be, be quiet now. He's going to be asking you all kind of questions now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know too much about them, but yeah, my mate breeds them. So if you want some info, I can send you over his way. <laughs> Yeah, no, it is quite small, but I don't know. I don't realize it's that small just because, yeah, I do have him as a contact, so I can get Senegals or Tigers or any kind that I mm -hmm. want, and I don't get them, so. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, Arapaimas are another one. I'd love to get that Arapaima eventually. That'd be awesome. Come get them here. Yeah. But yeah, pretty much anything that's not native, we can't have here. Mm -hmm. So what is native, may I ask? We've got all our river rainbows, so you've got a large variety of rainbows which you can get. Um, bass, aramundi, which are like your bigger ones. Um, oh, we've got some cool catfish, like your tandanus catfish and some eel tail catfish. So you do have some interesting species. The thing with Australian fish compared to like exotic fish is kind of their appearance. Like your guys are definitely, like the Americans and Africans, they're very colourful, whereas our guys, they're kind of, boring in the sense of color but personality and activity wise they're really interesting um so yeah and they kind of look a little bit funny like our catfish they got really cool whiskers and the big eel tail tails so the interesting looking fish <laughs> mm -hmm. right because are there are mostly the same goals larger breeds are pretty rare down there what i see yeah, definitely the larger guys because, yeah, the tigers and senegals, they are on the smaller side and they're pretty much the main ones that you see over here. No, uh, Fathom is all into bikers. I mean, he, he, he has beautiful fish. Don't get me wrong. No, he, he's awesome. He, he's also one of my moderators and co host, by the way. Um, right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what? I, I, we've been asking you so many questions. Do you have any questions for us? I don't know. Ooh, shoot, shoot, that's down easy, y'all. This is gonna be nice. This is great. <laughs> I should have had a little bit of think before coming on here. Oh, <laughs> no, this is good. <laughs> what are your favorite kinds of fish to keep? Let's see. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can guess it. How about that? I was gonna say frontosas and stuff. <laughs> wow, you're good. You've been right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are beautiful, the frontosas. I've got a mate that breeds them as well. My big guys, right? Actually, yeah, as you said, don't don't name your fish, but I did. <laughs> but the big guy. Oops. Where? Are you very yeah. him? He's picking his head around the corner. Anyways, yeah. his name is Vibes, by the way. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you, you that's like the up in the corner? Yeah. It's like the fish that's in my profile picture. That was the very first better that I ever got, and his name was Fish. So Fish was my favorite fish. <laughs> oh, it's, it's plain, simple, but it, it's good. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I, I got I to shout someone out. This is the first time ever I've seen her in my chat. Ever. Oops, Joanne. Right. There you go. There you go. Joanne Davis. That's my sister-in-law. Welcome. Hey, thanks. Thank you, by the way, for letting my brother do the koozies. That was, that was awesome. Thank you. All uh, right. You know, hey, if you show up and I know you very well, I'm going to shout you out. You know what I mean? That's a different side. Anyways, um, now I do keep the, the favorite is for doses, but the, the conluches. Yeah. That you're gonna have to get a bigger oh, tank for. I was gonna say they're beautiful. They're so big. Yeah. The guys behind me, right? Now that the lights are on, you can kind of see them. Although they're all gonna have. Look how little they are. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm put your full screen. 
but that oh whereas we got the side so yeah that's how little the cloud loaches are over here so yours are probably like triple that size yeah <laughs> uh no I, I, i'm just blessed the ones i'm showing you those are rescues I, 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 see last uh last four years i i, I was doing rescues people yeah. called me up and hey we're moving out of town or we can't take our, take our ticket any longer. You don't mind coming out, coming taking a part with us? I did that many, many a day, many a night, long days. Uh, a lot awesome. of my fish in here are rescues, by the way. That's awesome. That's kind of like what my angel fish tank is like because when I used to work at a lot of aquarium shops, so any of the stock that came in that was either had a deformity or something that we physically couldn't sell it, I always take it home. So I've got a lot of quarries with missing gill plates or a couple that are blind or got bits missing off them. So yeah, I got kind of like a little special needs tank. <laughs> yeah, They're the uh, best ones. They have the most personality. No, of course, behind me, I got uh, the rainbows, uh, Bosmania, and then discus. Oh, yeah, it's so very similar to this tank in the corner here. They've yeah. got discus and rainbows. Then, of course, I got my peacock cichlids, African cichlids. And then I got Bernas, I got the Bashardis, the Maltese, the we a show dweller. Um, let's see, hold on. I got a killifish, a three different, actually four different kinds of killifish. I got Gdeads. Um, let me see. I got sword tails, guppies, flatties, mollies. I got, I don't know how many different kinds of. Uh, Variety of tetras, um, and he's got my mollies that he won't send me. Hey, <laughs> yeah, what? um, what? <laughs> okay, uh, quick, quick side note. Um, uh, I've been doing a lot of collecting local, anyways. We have wild mollies here locally in, in our waters, anyway. Skull has been bugging me get to, to ship them to him, so I got yeah. some right here beside me. That I collected. It is incredible the stuff that you get in your waterways. I follow one gentleman and he goes around to all the waterways and catches stuff out of the sewers and stuff. And he just pulls out the most incredible stuff. I think in one video he pulled out everything from a ghost knife to some exotic catfish to sword tails to Texas cichlids to fire mouths. Like the stuff that he was pulling out of this little hole, I was like, that's incredible. You wouldn't even find that in an aquarium store here, that variety. <laughs> and this was just in one little hole in the ground. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, Shady Grady has a question for you. Emily, I've been following Kay's cichlids for a long time. What is Kay like in person? She seems very down to earth. Katie is lovely. So yeah, as I was saying, I've had the privilege to look after her tank and I have met up with her a couple of times and she is just generally a lovely person and really down to earth. It's how she looks in her videos, she is just an awesome person. Welcome in, Gordon. How are you doing? All right. Okay, Gordon. I'll answer it. How do you fit all those tanks in your house, vibes? Hey, it's called stacking them. I got behind the camera, for those who can't see it, I got four tanks stacked, stacked high. So the top two tanks, I had to get, get, had to get on, on a bench or, or a chair to reach them or a ladder. So. I hope it's not that chair you use during your live streams because that thing is going to pitch you on the ground. One Which one? You mean, you mean this chair here or you mean the, you mean the other one? The other one. Oh, <laughs> come on, dude. I, okay, I do uh, maintenance on my my my, my uh, aquariums, and, when, and usually what I do, I, I go live. I do a live stream during the, the process. Anyways, I, I have a desk chair that I sit in. Occasionally, I, I have to get on it. I stand on it to see the tank behind me. I can't see it into the tank. It, I'm I'm short. So. <laughs> so what? Anyways, so he stands on a chair with wheels on it. Oh god, wheels. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> on live. And we're just waiting. <laughs> At least we're all sitting there watching. We're waiting. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Hey, I did that with me six foot. Even with this one, I tried to get something out of the bottom a bit before and I literally I can reach to about here and that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. But hey, Skull, at least if it happens, it, it, it'll be recorded. Yeah, I'll I'll only clip it once. <laughs> That's what, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. 
Okay, it's called. Uh, you haven't answered um, Emily's question. What? Your, fi- your favorite fish. My favorite fish. My you favorite fish. My Father favorite Claire. fish are go- they're goldfish. Ooh, what kind of goldfish? Just regular comets, single oh, tail, really? double tail. Is there a reason why? Because I've had them forever, and they just cruise around. They're always active. They don't screw yeah. anything up. That's cool. I they're love the orange. They're good in a pond. They're they're good in a big tank. They have to be in a yeah. good tank. We got to be in a big tank. Yes, they're a good hardy one. Those guys. I do actually miss my goldfish tank. I think I'm definitely gonna have to do one again in the future. Yeah. My partner's always me to restart the goldfish whenever we go and he sees one he's like can we do a goldfish tank again so i think we may be doing another one soon yeah. <laughs> i mean i i have a, a 50 gallon tub over here they're waiting to go outside when it warms up but mm-hmm. yeah so that's the other thing about over there you have to bring <laughs> we could leave them out all year round and nothing would happen to them you just have to worry about an eagle coming in or flooding and them getting out <laughs> yeah uh-huh. Yeah, yeah was, she's, again, she's rubbing the heat, the heat, the nice weather in our faces. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah, it, it can still, be a downside though, because you got to dig really deep. Got to be at least three foot deep so it thermoregulates itself. Otherwise, everything will basically cook itself. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But it, it it is so fun to sit. I know Vibes knows this. To sit out on your patio and hear the water running. Yeah, that would be. And awesome. Look over and you see the goldfish flashing around yeah that is so cool <clears throat> yeah uh that's part of my fit fa- uh, now my photos is my favorite right but if i had to sit and for hours it'd be some inside the pond i got a koi pond and yeah even outside. like seeding, yeah even seeding for the live stream i was out feeding them it was dark outside but i got, I got uh, uh, lights on the pond anyways I come walking past it, and they all come up like, "Hey, we're hungry. Feed us." So of course, being vibes, I mean, being a fish keeper, yeah, you're hungry. All right, I'll get you something to eat. So, <laughs> and then you got, you got your waterfall in the background. You get wind chimes. Ah, oh. that'd be beautiful. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and it's I love the big with the big bog filters. They're stunning. Mm-hmm. Do you have a fire pit vibes? I do. Yeah. Light the fire pit. You're sitting out there with your lights on the pond. Oh, see, now I'm jealous. That sounds amazing. I, I, feel, I, I, feel, I feel asleep out there and woke up the next morning in a lawn chair. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah, it's wow. so calming. Yeah, finally, y'all. I think we finally put something in front of Emily. That made her jealous of us. So Ooh, that, was, that, that took us an hour and eighteen minutes to figure it out. Wow. <laughs> uh, hey, and the range of fish that you have. I said that earlier. You got an awesome range of fish. <laughs> HD Canteen. Gift of the membership. Thanks, bro. And the gift it to Shady Grady. Welcome in, Shady, to the fish to the vibe fam. Welcome in. Man. Thanks, bro. Uh, okay. All right, um, I'm making sure I got. You, you know missed what? some questions. You missed some questions already. What questions? Beach or mountains? Oh yeah. Back to the vibe check. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, beach or mountaintop? See, I'm a nature girl, so I really love it. And where I'm from, I'm from the Sunshine Coast. So I was born on the beach and grown up on the beach. And my nan and pop were always country. So I always thought that I'd be a country girl and I'd want the country more. Now that I'm in the country, went back home the other day and visited the beach and didn't realize how much I really missed it. So I don't know, probably now that I'm into the aquarium side of things, beach. But Mm -hmm. back in the day, definitely the country, mountains. Mm -hmm. Uh, Flips or shoes? As in, like, see, this is where we're probably going to get confused. Here in Australia, if you're talking about what's in your feet, we call them thongs. Thong, thongs. Uh, okay, yeah, I've heard that, yeah. So, hey, there's Katie. What's up, Katie? What's up, Jeff? 
So yeah, over here we call them thongs. So I You're don't welcome. really wear thongs. Really wear <laughs> I wear slides just because they're a little bit yeah. easier to kick on yeah. and off in my busy lifestyle, but slides rather than that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Emily, you got you better behave now. Katie showed up. Hey, Katie, how are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> now we got to go to hot or cold. Yeah. Oh, see, I'm definitely hot because I'm cold blooded, so I get cold really easily. So definitely the warm. Mm-hmm. Although I do love smoke, so again. <laughs> and uh, you said earlier you don't drink, drink a lot of drinks besides water. But I'm going to ask you anyways, coffee or tea? See, I do not do caffeine at all, so I hate coffee, so definitely tea. And herbal tea, not like milk tea, herbal tea. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I get it, I get it. Uh, all on. right, here, here comes the next one. Breakfast, ahead, for dinner, breakfast for dinner or dinner for breakfast? Again, it comes down to time. If I had the time, definitely dinner for breakfast. But just because of time, probably breakfast for dinner. <laughs> breakfast for dinner. Heck yeah. yeah. Eggs, whatever. Yeah. yeah, just eat each other together, do a big brekkie, fry it up, off you go. <laughs> yep. A pancakes or French toast? Ooh. Both. I'm not a, yeah, see, I'm not a sweets person, so <laughs> neither really, but probably the French toast. I can tailor more to savory, so French toast. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I'm trying to think, do y'all have McDonald's over there? Yeah, Macca's is really big. That was actually my first job when I turned 18 and a half. My first job was at Macca's for a couple of years. So, yeah, Macca's trained over here. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, so is it McDonald's or is it Wendy's? We don't have Wendy's here. We only, where I'm from, our first Carl Jr.'s that opened last week, and that was the first time that I've seen Carl Jr.'s over here. So, yeah, we don't have Wendy's, so definitely Macca's. Oh, they don't compare to Wendy's with their Frosty. Yeah, so, yeah, we don't call them Frosty over here. We call them Thick Shakes. Thick Shakes. I like it. It is. (laughs) But... Do you eat your fries with a thick shake? Yeah, I do. My boyfriend absolutely oh. hates it. It's disgusting, but I do. <laughs> I like Hell it. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I have to. Mm-hmm. Fries in the shake. Yeah, you have to. See, anyway, I actually won't eat fries unless it's in the ice cream. Like, that's the only way that I'll do it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, your thick shake, is it like a mint thick shake? No, so you can get in McDonald's. I call it Macca's. So, that's what I'm uh-huh. saying when I say Macca's. Macca's, you can get um, chocolate, strawberry, or vanilla. Mm-hmm. You probably have to go to like a fancy ice cream place if you wanted anything else. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. <laughs> it's actually Macca's, M A C C A. Macca's. Uh huh. Good evening. <laughs> Wait, every <laughs> All right. Joseph, there... has, Joseph has a question. Is there Taco Bell in Australia? Yes. So we've actually had quite a few Taco Bells open up recently, but I don't know whether it's just because it's over here, but I really don't understand the hype. When it first opened, we went there religiously for a week, and then after that, it just turned to rubbish. So we haven't been back again. So I don't know. I always watch you guys rave about it. I'm like, is it just we're getting ripped off here and it's not the same? So I'd like to come over and try it and compare. <laughs> Nathan Hovey, welcome. What's up, Nathan? All right. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Orange Dreamsicle Frosty. The heck is that? I was going to say, what is that? Oh, wow. Okay. Uh-oh. Keith from KGE so, so, fell in here. Hey, Keith, welcome. He, he slipped into the dark side. Yeah. So we talked a lot about fresh water. Do, y'all, do you keep salt water at all? I personally don't because, again, I've been banned from tanks, so I'm not able to upgrade, but I've got my marine shirt on at the moment. Um, so I do what, so. 
Yeah, I do service a lot of marine tanks and obviously working in the industry for a while. I've had a lot of experience with the marine, but yeah, just haven't been able to set one up myself yet. <laughs> welcome in, Elfish. Linda Wife, welcome in. Sunny G, welcome in. All right. Uh, trying to think, my, my brain went, it, it, it's fried, y'all. Um, I don't blame it, you, it's so cute over there. <laughs> when you said nine o'clock, I was like, wow, you guys live stream this late? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, I mean, you, you don't even want to know. Sometimes we're still going like three hours or four hours from now. <laughs> well, <I don't> know. <laughs> this is nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> I mean, I'm up. I have insomnia, so my bedtime is in two, three o'clock in the morning. But I definitely couldn't imagine trying to function and talk to people at that time. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. it's not very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, vibe for asleep. Well, I wasn't going to mention that. But. <laughs> hey, I mentioned it before. Everybody else did. Yeah, uh, I, I I fell asleep on a live stream. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> none of us clipped it. None of us took a picture of it either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was so embarrassing that, yeah. <laughs> okay. A uh, favorite movie. Oh, I love the Harry Potter series, but oh, there was one. I can't really be my favorite movie if I can't think of it off the top of my head, can I? <laughs> so probably Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets. Mm-hmm. If you could star in a movie, what movie would it be and what part would you play? Wow. Yeah, that's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> you answer that question first. <laughs> Ooh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold <laughs> Give on. me some insight. <laughs> I don't know who I'd be. I'd be Tom Cruise and Top Gun Maverick. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Of course. I would have to shrink because I'm not as short as him, but I probably like do little actually because Dr. Doolittle gets to talk to all his animals. So Dr. Doolittle and the animals. Yeah. That was a good one. No, I, I, <laughs> I actually what, what, my mind went to a classic, uh Andy Griffith show. Yeah, yeah. And I would be at Andy. Uh Okay. Your turn, uh, Emily. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, I probably got to do little. Mm -hmm. That would be my one. Yeah, because I always am looking at my animals and I talk to them and I wish they could talk back. So in that scenario, we actually could. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm assuming. Maybe I'm assuming too much, but I'm assuming that you listen to music while you're doing your maintenance and the plans. Yeah, I generally do. Generally, I get so caught up in things that I'm just go, 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 and actually don't think to stop and think about myself and to occupy myself. So when I do get the chance, yeah, I do enjoy listening to music while I do the tanks. A favorite uh, classical music, like the time frame between 1940 to 1980, that, that time frame. Ooh. That's way before my time. So <laughs> but surely he looks look, good sometimes. No, see, I'm not really into the classical sort of thing. My music genre varies into everything apart from classical. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, favorite so she, artist. So, she's got some class like Bon Jovi or somebody. Yeah. Right? That's a good Bon uh -huh. Jovi. Yeah. And Keith, I watched Outlaw Josie Wales about a week ago for like the hundredth time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Epic, epic movie. Hey, SC Hulus. I saw that. I like it. I like it. Just blame on the bed drill. Hey, you know, Elvish, I'm gonna go ahead and put it up there. Who would be your Bonnie? Hey, you know what? Instead of vibes answering that, how about my uh Co-host and my guest after that. Who would be a good Barney? Barney what? In the in the Anna Griffith show. Who would be my Barney? Yeah, me. 
it, 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 if I was starring in it, and I and I was Andy, who would my, be good? My Barney would be Jimmy P, just so I could mess with him. Yeah. I have no idea on that one. <laughs> it, 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 who would, who would be your sidekick? You're gonna yeah. have a. Who would be your sidekick? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Let's choose Katie. Katie can be my sidekick. <laughs> that, that's a big choice. The next time you see her, you can call her Barney. Yeah. There you, go. <laughs> you can blame it on on Skull. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we should all go into her com. Katie, can we go into your comments and say, "Hey, Barney"? <laughs> yeah, <she's on> <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, Katie, I appreciate you showing up. You're awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. Vice fell asleep because he overdosed on cottage cheese. That day. <laughs> Hey, hey, Sonny, you know what? I'll tell you a little secret. Uh, this young lady on, on, on the panel also enjoys it, so I'm not alone in this world. It is kind of cheese, so. <laughs> okay. You know what? Put Alan half in. We can't hold her too long, y'all. Hey, you know what? She can come up anytime she wants. Yeah, whenever you guys but, want me around, I'm more than happy to come. Yeah, but before we head out, uh, Skull, what, what do you guys think of the fish community? Same as I always say, love your family, love everybody around you, and keep them close to you. You never know what, what can happen, so keep them close. Mm -hmm. And how about you, Emily? You got anything to say to the viewers before we head out? Well, mainly just thank you for tuning in today and allowing me to be here. It was a great opportunity to have it. Sure you research your pitch before you get them. Yeah, it's been a blessing to have Emily up there, y'all. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And I've I, had lots I, I, go ahead. It's been lots of fun being here. It's been a great opportunity. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be doing something like this today. So it was very exciting when I got the message from you. So thank you for that. Yeah, anytime. Um and I'm still it caught I guess you call it geeking out a little bit. Of, of accent, it, 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 I, I kind of enjoy it. So, so yeah, I'm excited to you guys talk, and yeah, I'm enjoying your accent as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and yeah, uh, Emily, you can stay on backstage, and I got some stuff to talk about. So, but yeah, anyways, yeah. y'all, those watching replay, hopefully <laughs> you enjoyed this uh, little live stream. Um, until next time, love your family, love your friends, stay positive, positive vibes only. Until later, right. peace out, y'all. Bye.